You still got him? <laughs> oh, he just jumped. Oh, I'm moving your tackle box. We're gonna eat this one. Dude, it's a Mondo. Look at that thing. It's a Mondo. He's gonna jump again. So I just started editing this video and I realized I never filmed any sort of intro because we never planned on making a video of this night. Uh, this was a night a few weeks ago. We were vacationing down the Outer Banks. It was nighttime. We wanted to do some night fishing. I was down there with my boy Chris. And uh, we get set up in one of the little harbors down there on the bay side. And we caught a few little fish. And naturally, I started throwing them out on a live line because I want to catch bigger fish. And I hook into this massive long nose gar. And uh, it got off right before we could get it into our little tiny net. And uh, it was game on after that. Hey, buddy. What's going on over here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Am I supposed to get the net now or something? Oh, Ooh, oh yeah. is it a big scar? I don't know. It is. Is it? Yeah, let me grab the net. Boop. <laughs> yeah, he's going right in now. Yeah, he's getting limp, limp fished. Look at that monster. Stop in the net. Hey. Nope. Quick tip, if you're ever trying to net a gar with a smaller net, you have to net it from the back side because if you try netting it from the head like you normally would with any other fish, the beak will get caught halfway down the net, rendering the net useless. I got the hook in the net. The... Uh, uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't grab his lips. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate. I'm trying to videotape with one hand. Yeah, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let me try it from the butt. There you go. Got him. <laughs> dude, that was half the size of yours, dude. Yours was twice that size. Dude, it's a monster. Right here. <laughs> dude, look, he's got that whole thing gobbled down. That fish is like goes literally. I'm not even. Look at the teeth on that thing. Dude, he's got that thing gobbled. Dude, that's a whole croaker on there. <laughs> oh, that thing's 20 pounds. About probably 15. Oh no, the hook's wrapped right around the net. Alright. We're going to uh, be right back. <laughs> you got him though. That <laughs> thing is freaking 40 inches long. It looks like a baby in the camera. It's a Mondo. All right, he's holding about a tail. I'm. This is a uh, forty-inch ruler. You got about a tail. Yep. Thirty-nine inches. And a little bit. Dude, a forty-inch guard. <laughs> you got a forty-incher. <laughs> Dude, that means yours was yours was twice that size. Mine was forty-four. Easy. <laughs> it's you. Here, Ugh. pick him up. Let's, let's, let's grab him. I don't want to touch that thing. Grab him. Right. We gotta get a picture. <laughs> Alright, that's good enough for a Look, video. Fish, look at that, nothing. You get the fish? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're letting them have that fish. Oh, are you filming still? <laughs> I am. Let me uh, take a picture. <sighs> that's awesome. That is so freaking awesome. Congratulations. Thank is that you. the biggest fish you've ever caught? Uh, Probably lengthwise. Yeah, yeah. longwise. The carp I caught last week was almost 20 pounds. Alright. <laughs> Look, you ain't got to worry about catching no gah. You gotta worry about a guy catching your ass. Whoa! <laughs> uh, you ready? I guess. Sorry, you gotta put a beep on that. Alright, you ready? Oh, goodbye, buddy. You were so much fun. Yeah, you still got the fish? You good? You what good? The of that thing? Oh, he's gonna jump! <laughs> <laughs> he spit the fish! I taught him that trick. I taught him that trick. Oh my god, he's like, oh, I don't want it. Screw you. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh. What is that, buddy? Your turn? Oh. Yeah, look at this pig. Look at this pig. <laughs> look at this pig. We measured it. It's 41. I had to top me again. <laughs> this is our fourth gar we've caught today. Oh. This one was jumping out of the water and everything. 
<laughs> oh, hold on. I got, wow. I got to back up a little bit. Wow. That was fun. That was all the way fun. That's this pretty. Was acrobatic. It was peel and drag. And that croaker that his spit out came back up to the surface. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I couldn't hold on. I ran. I got flip flops on. You ain't taking uh, my let, toe. Let me let her go. The right. croaker that his spit out surfaced back up to the water. I netted it, put it back out there, and caught this one. <laughs> Dude, that thing is gorgeous. All right. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, she gone. I, I didn't mean to do that. That one was feisty. Yeah, it was. That was all the way feisty. Here, let me get rid of this oh, stuff. You still got him? Oh, yeah, I got him. <laughs> oh, he just jumped. Oh, I'm moving your tackle box. We're going to eat this one. Dude, it's a Mondo. Look at that thing. It's a Mondo. He's going to jump again. Hold on, watch out for my rod. Oh, I'll, I'll get him turned around. <laughs> this is so awesome. What was that on? A huge fish. A huge fish. A, yep. Uh, Here, let me get his butt. It was a whiting. Let me get his butt. We're gonna eat this one. Catch and cook. I got. I got to nut his butt. I got to nut his butt. I got to nut his butt. I think I got him. <laughs> Watch out for my rod. Here, walk no, under. Walk under. Line. Walk under. Yep. I think I had a whiting on there. I think you did too. You! Yeah! <laughs> if you caught a 40 inch or would you cook him? Here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so literally seconds ago, we're like, shoot, do people eat these things? We found a very southern video of a couple guys doing a catch and cook on these things. So I think that's what we're going to do. Because <laughs> they, they chopped it up and ate it. Oh, the hook's out. He's just got the line in his mouth right now. Uh-oh. The hook is out. <clears throat> All right, where was your bye, Felicia, the video? No, I'm walking over here. We're gonna we're gonna kill this monster. Well, apparently, uh, uh, plant, apparently they're fun to okay to eat. So uh, they're really weird to to clean. It's really late, if you didn't know. And we're gonna eat this thing. So it's about one thirty, man. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Osprey flying around. Is my ride going down? Nope. That osprey's been mad at you. Oh. So we got here. We we, we sit, we're sitting on this osprey nest, and this osprey took a big poop on both of us. And we're like, it's good luck. It's it's apparently good luck when a bird poops on your head. But here, let, let me show what, what you got on your back. <laughs> I, I was trying to show you. <laughs> That's osprey uh, aftermath, and it's been good luck because oh, we're having a he's like blast. Flirty. He's mad. All right. Let's uh, fast this forward right to there, tomorrow so. morning. We're gonna figure out how to cut this thing up. That's the thing that and we're gonna right eat it. We're gonna eat that big gar. <laughs> That's bigger than your last one. You think? Yeah, we'll get a measurement. We'll, 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 we'll get a dead measurement. All right, cool. Dude, you wanted to catch one on your, your catfish okay. rod and bada bing! Bright light. A little bit. So apparently, our osprey friend didn't only get your back. <laughs> Kurdoosh! <laughs> you can see the fish guts in that. It's all green. Dude, that thing hit like Hiroshima. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I wish I could take a poop that big. Yeah, look at this. Oh, if you want to catch the fish, you got to stay out and get them. Oh, it's only 2.11. We're good. Let's go back. We got time to cook it up. <laughs> be fried our wives would be like, what the divorce is going on? <laughs> it's like the worst smell and most horrible thing. It just ruins your whole trip because you can't stay in the house. <laughs> You're like frying a bag of sand. God, I hope this thing tastes good. We'll see. <sighs> see you tomorrow.
I wasn't expecting that. Look at fish. Uh, what? It's huge. It was bigger last night, too. <laughs> what? Did he catch that thing? Uh, he did. Oh, he got me with his teeth. What is right it? now? Right now you dragged him and got nah, him? Nah, it was just... Oh. Yeah, like he didn't get me. All right, well... Uh, oh, slime! So we need... We, we, we need to go get some tin snips, apparently, to that? cut through the skin. The gar. That's a long-nosed gar. Are they alive still? Apparently, they taste no. like alligator. It's a fish. It's a fish. That sounds fun, huh? Come on, Scott. Are we going to eat him? We're going to cook up that fish and then eat him. So, we'll be... Hopefully. Oh, hopefully, it'll be... <laughs> All right. So, uh, we got an accurate measurement on Chris's fish. It's... 42 inches and it's 10 pounds. So I guess that's good. We went out this morning to the hardware store and got 10 snips because that's the only way to get through this armor apparently. Online they show people using a hacksaw to cut through. Well, we have a bread knife. Let me see if that works. We're doing this so hopefully it's good or maybe it's bad so you don't have to kill it or you know to target these things if they're around. That ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Let me see if this will puncture through. Now that I got a little bit of a bite. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. So, I don't know if I'm going to show all of this. But I'm going to show a little bit of it. It says it pretty much go right down the back I'm like, oh, that's... Dude, those are tin snips, man. If you need uh, tin snips, go to Ace Hardware. <laughs> we are not sponsored, but hey. I'm trying not to drag my finger across that. So, once you get through that, then apparently you take your knife and you cut. Oh, where's the bait knife? We're going to go get the knife, but apparently once you get through this, well, you can probably just peel that away from the skin. It sure looks But like once it. you get down to the meat, then you fillet the meat like you would any other fish. So let me go get the uh, fillet knife and this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that I, I read that apparently the females, their eggs are toxic. So I'm not going to get anywhere near this is stomach of this thing because I don't know if it's a male or female. And uh... So we don't want to rupture the egg sac if this is a female that's that's pregnant. I didn't quite go right down the middle of its spine, so now I'm sort of working against myself. But once we get this thing opened up and get Dude, to the meat. You can use that skin for armor when you're done. <laughs> Make we that. will uh, show you what the, the meat looks like once we get in there, but I'm not going to bore you with this. You just sort of work, work the knife around the, the skin and the, the meat. This is interesting. That's why we do this to learn. You never know when you might need to eat a gar. So yeah. you never know. Oh, there we go. Getting somewhere now. It's like dinosaur skin. Yeah. So it is where we, I ended up doing another slip with the tin snips just to get that out of the way. And I worked the, the skin around here. And now apparently you just go down the backbone like you would any other fish. To get those fillets out of there. Just file the, the backbone down. There's a lot of meat on this pig. Nice white looking meat too. We'll see how it tastes. I think we're gonna fry it up obviously, but two different ways. We're gonna do some beer batter and some just regular flour old bay, whatever, maybe a little hot sauce. We should make the kids try it first, what do you think? I'm down. <laughs> so try this piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> they said it's like chicken meat. I mean, that looks like chicken breast meat right there. Look at that. It does. Like they say it's the consistency of chicken meat, but it don't taste like chicken. It's just a big roll of meat. Yeah, it's, that's all meat there. It's like a skinned eel. <laughs> all right, well, we'll cut this out of here, and we'll, we'll see you in the kitchen. How about that? Nice. So here's our, our joint. 
pretty nice up here. You know, we've got it messed up. All right, so we pretty much cut out just like the back straps of these things. We're gonna, we're gonna go for the, the sweet meat. We're gonna find out how it is. Um, so this one, I'm gonna nug it up. I won't nug it all up, but we're gonna put in a little hot sauce to get it going, because why not? And I did soak this, it's okay. I did soak this in, um, we're gonna, gonna do hot sauce and some, some, some dry, dry batter on this. And before this, we had the uh, the fish pretty much soaking in uh, salt water for a while, just because I heard somebody else has done that before. So this one, we're gonna put in a little flour, and we're gonna put it right in the beer batter. If you want the beer batter recipe? I'm gonna throw that up on the screen right now. And we're gonna take these and this, and we're gonna go to the hot oil right now. Unfortunately, the lighting in this kitchen sucks. We're gonna go uh, dry first. Ooh, that oil looks good. Oh, yeah. Hot. Look, look at the fries. Yeah, mm -hmm. fish and chips. Mm -hmm. well, we got all kinds of stuff. We're steaming shrimp tonight. We're doing soft crab. Oh, oh yeah. that might be too hot. Woo! They're going in. That, that looks delicious. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Move it, move it. Well, they look like uh, fried doop, nuggets. Doop. Whoa! <laughs> that one was coming for me. You'd be all right. All right, we're gonna pull the rest of these out and throw in the beer batter. Oh, there, is this the beer batter? This is the beer batter. Yeah. Ooh. Usually a, a fan favorite. This meat is so tender, it's ridiculous. Hopefully it's as tender when it comes out. We will find out shortly. Look at that. Here, let me get a little bit. There we a go. A little sizzle. Are right, you can kill it. Hey, ready? Golden Krispies out of here. Ooh. Bloop, bloop. Looks like sweet and sour chicken. Yep. Exactly what it looks like. You got any sweet and sour sauce? No. Uh, nope. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that, <laughs> Ew. That's actually a different video. <laughs> All right. I guess we should give these a try. What do you think? Oh, that looks amazing! Well, it looks can be deceiving, as you can see by my face and then my wife's face. Uh, what up? <laughs> Gonna eat some dinosaur. Who wants some dinosaur? Need, uh, hey. Oh, I, I only got four plates. I only got four plates. Hold on. Chris made some fresh cut French fries. French fries. Some dinosaur and chips. Ooh, Ooh those are fresh fries. fries. All right, Chris, get over here. What are you on? Uh, here, look, here, it's oh, some dinosaur. Look, you can tell this is my son. Watch, I'm slapping. Seamus, come try some dinosaur. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go beer bag. Mm. Alright, put that down. What do we think? This is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Some amazing. I'm going for it. No, I've gotten amazing. Seamus, how Cheers. is it? You try it? This is your plate. Oh, I want some dinosaurs. Sauceless. How is it? Mm -hmm. I don't wow. think I don't think Cal had any yet. It's amazing. Daddy, I did one have sauce. It's mine. It's the best thing I um, ever tasted. We might have to try to catch some more of this. Um I wonder what this like with sauce. I'm gonna try some zesty some Burger King zesty sauce. Oh my goodness. Mm. Hello. Um, I'm some Give me a picture. Hey, wait! Wait a minute! Holy crap! Yeah, it's like really good. It's good. I'm not making that up. It's really good. It is like this really, is perfect. really good. I mean, the kids are eating it, so they know you're not making it up. And we got fresh cut French fries. This, uh -uh. this is the best thing I ever tasted. Nice! That's good for my kids. kids that means you got another one. Here you go. Did you even use sauce? Alright, so. Uh, no, so I did not. Nice. <laughs> There's no fish taste at all. It tastes like chicken. He says it tastes like chicken. Mm. I've been told. It doesn't taste like. It mm. tastes like chicken with it a different texture. It doesn't taste. That's like unbelievable. I'm gonna try it. I've been told it, it tastes close to alligator, and I'll agree. It's just like a firm, sweet meat. It I've never tried alligator. It's good. If it tastes like that, I'll eat it. This is why you try new things. All right, there's our catch and cook of long nose gar, and we're gonna catch some more tonight. We think. Go viral, huh? Go. <laughs> Ah. 
All right. Yeah, we're going to get more. Believe we that. We're going to enjoy our dinner. Okay. Hope you guys are having a great night. It, does, it doesn't taste like fish because oh. it's not raw. This is not raw. Only raw fish tastes like fish. It's unreal. Try it without. That's it. good. It's amazing. Like, it's not good. It's like, not holy good. crap. All right, I don't want to make this video too long, but he's going to bite on his rod. These are both of my rods. Boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, he caught the big one on my, my lighter rod. I flipped this one. We net the big one. Oh, he missed him. Wow, these things are just stacked in here. It's unbelievable. And our friend's back. Hadn't pooped on us yet, though. Man, this is fun. Look at that thing, it's monstrous. Here's my hand. <laughs> it's monstrous. The only reason why the third pole ain't going is because it's it already Yeah. <laughs> he, don't, he hasn't even put bait on that one yet. baby. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's funny when two grown men high five these days. Uh, but that like, was a high five man and we doled him in. It's like this. <laughs> 